I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I've noticed that many of the cards I've talked about in the Why Nobody Plays series have eventually gotten more support. Now I think this is completely coincidental, I don't think Konami is watching those videos and making new support for those cards, but it's always pretty funny whenever it happens. I bring this up because last night we got some new Nordic support revealed for Battle of Chaos, and these cards are pretty good surprisingly. Konami is clearly trying to fix the Nordic archetype, an archetype that does have a number of fans, but was never able to truly be a competitive deck. Now admittedly, I don't think that Konami could fix Nordics with only main deck cards. I think they really need retrains of the Synchro Monsters. Those cards were pretty outdated when they came out over 10 years ago, so in 2021, yeah, they're even worse. But these four new cards are pretty appealing, and I'm sure fans of the Nordic strategy will be happy to put them in their decks. That being said, I don't think these cards will necessarily be enough to make Nordics competitively viable by themselves, but they give Nordics a lot of power that I think they were lacking. As usual, the graphics in today's video are from Yu-Gi-Oh! News TCG. Make sure to follow them on Twitter and Instagram if you haven't already. By the way, I should probably mention that while I'm usually pretty bad at pronouncing card names, I am especially bad at pronouncing the Nordic card names, so we're just going to kind of roll with the punches here and see how it goes. First up, we have Gulen Bursty of the Nordic Beasts, a level 3 light beast tuner effect monster with 300 attack and 100 defense. It says for a synchro summon, you can substitute this card for any one Nordic tuner. You can only use the 1 and 2 effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one Nordic monster from your hand. Also, you can target one Nordic monster in your graveyard, except Gulen Bursty of the Nordic beasts add it to your hand. I like this card. It's not super fancy, but I think it does a pretty good job of helping you summon those big synchros. Don't forget that the synchro monsters technically require you to use a tuner from their own archetype. So for example, Thor required you to use a Nordic beast tuner if you wanted to bring it out. Now remember, in Storm of Ragnarok, there was one tuner released that could act as any Nordic tuner, so that made it a bit easier to bring out the Nordic synchros. Now though, we have a second tuner that can act as any Nordic tuner, and it has two great effects that really help modernize the Nordic strategy. Next up, we have Evaldi the Nordic Smith, a level 4 Earth Warrior effect monster with 1500 attack and 700 defense. This card says you can only use the 1 and 2 effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you control a Nordic or a Seer monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Nordic Relic card from your deck to your hand. Now right now, without looking at the other two new cards, that second effect might not look that powerful because honestly, all of the older Nordic Relic cards are pretty darn terrible, even if you are searching them for free. But luckily, the other two new cards in Battle of Chaos for Nordics are both Nordic Relic cards, which does make this card's second effect a lot better. As for the first effect, yeah, it's great. You want to open this card and the other card we just looked at, plus any level 3 Nordic monster so that you can instantly make any of the synchros out there. That is a pretty easy way to not only summon some synchro monsters, but also to add a Nordic Relic to your hand. Next up, we have Nordic Relic Hilid... Yeah, I'm not trying to pronounce that one. This is, in fact, a normal spell card. I know the graphic says normal trap. I think that's just a typo. And it says you can use only one of the one and two effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. Either special summon one Nordic monster from your deck, but you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck while the summon monster is face up on the field except a seer monsters, or you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one Nordic monster from your deck to your hand, then shuffle one card from your hand into the deck. Not a bad card, I will point out here though that this card doesn't work with the Link 1 monster because the Link 1 monster is unfortunately not an Aesir monster. Now that might not super matter here, but it does change the style of the deck a tiny bit. Previously, as far as I know, the goal 
of a Nordic deck in modern Yu-Gi-Oh was to resolve that Link 1 monster. With this card though, it seems like they don't really care about you doing that. They'd rather you just go straight for the Synchro Summon. Regardless, I think this card is fantastic. It's an E-Telly that also has a graveyard effect. No, you can't use both effects in the same turn, but still I think it's a very good card, which by the way is searchable by Evaldi. This means that anytime that you open Evaldi plus pretty much any Nordic monster, you'll probably be able to summon Odin, Thor, or Loki, which is obviously the end goal of your deck. I know people don't like the restrictions on this card, but personally I think it is a great addition to Nordic decks. And finally we have Nordic Relic Savalin, a continuous trap card that says you can only use one of the 1 and 2 effect of this card's name per turn and only once that turn. If you control an Aesir monster, you can negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn, or you can tribute one Nordic monster, then target one Aesir monster in your graveyard, special summon it. This Nordic relic really does try to solve one of Nordic's biggest issues. Even in the past, when people experimented with Nordics when they first came out, people discovered there was no real reason to try and summon Thor, Odin, or Loki. Yeah, they looked cool and had flashy effects, but in reality, even back then, it was easier to build a Nordic Beast deck, for example, just because the Nordic Beast main deck cards were an alright synchro summoning engine. Finally though, with this Nordic Relic, we have a reason to summon those Aesir Synchro Monsters. This card's blanket negation effect is fantastic, and while it might not win a game on its own, it is still a very powerful ability to have on a continuous trap card that you can use over and over again. At the end of the day, this is what legacy support is all about. Konami is giving Nordics a bunch of modern cards, and these four cards are very good in the context of a Nordic deck. The two new Nordic cards we got a few years ago were welcome additions to the Nordic archetype. The Link 1 in particular is very good when it manages to resolve, but it loses to basically every single hand trap in the entire game. For what it's worth though, if Konami really wants to make Nordics a competitive deck, they have to give them a few new synchro monsters. Maybe they just even give them like one single new synchro monster that would be really helpful. The three synchros that they have right now are so outdated and it makes building a deck around them very unappealing. Yes, the new trap card does help out quite a bit, but imagine if that trap card went alongside a good Aesir Synchro Monster instead of the three that we have right now. Now that might be a competitively viable deck, but for now the deck is at least a lot better than it was and I can't wait to try these cards out when they're released. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later though. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.